What's going on you guys? Hope everybody's doing great and everybody's staying safe out there. Back today with another flashlight review. I want to say first and foremost, I want to thank the company Bry Knight. They reached out to me, sent me a couple flashlights for review. The first one that we're going to be taking a look at today is the Bry Knight PT28, the Oath Keeper. I've had this flashlight for right at a month now and been using it quite a bit. It's more kind of a, a palm size flashlight, kind of like an everyday carry, uh, tactical, law enforcement, just all around outdoorsman style flashlight. Just super handy and can slide right inside a pocket. Uh, has a nice belt clip on it, but just want to go over a few of the features on it. Has some really cool built-in features that a lot of other lights don't have and wanted to go through those. And then most importantly, uh, once it gets nighttime here in good old humid Indiana, I want to take you guys outside after dark and then show you how the beam performs on this and the various functions that it has. But first things first here, you'll probably notice something a little different on this, this ring sticking off to the side. They actually call this a tactical ring. Uh, what this does is it allows you to, you know, just loop it right around a finger. That way, if you need to open a hand for any reason, the flashlight stays with you at all times. And it also just provides a little bit extra uh, security, I guess. It does make it kind of nice whenever you're walking around, you don't always have to keep a good firm grip on it to keep that in your hand. Uh, maybe on a hot night or whatever, when your palms are sweaty, um, you can just kind of open up your hand, let some air breathe through there, and that'll keep, you know, hanging off your finger, whichever one you decide to loop it around. But you'll also notice you can kind of use this as, uh, I don't know, if you get trapped in your vehicle or something, you can probably punch a window with that, uh, shatter some glass. Uh, you can definitely use it as a weapon if you need to. Uh, it's very sturdy, very rigid piece of, I would just say it's a high, high quality alloy there, uh, but you can just tell it's very sturdy. Um, I do like that feature, but to be honest, most of the times whenever I'm kind of walking around with this, just everyday carry style, I guess you would say, uh, I actually take this off and it's very easy to remove this ring from the flashlight itself. Just a few twists here where you would take the back cap, the tail cap off to change the battery. You can see there the ring just simply slides off and then there's two arrows on your tail cap switch where you got to line that up so whenever you slide this on, the ring doesn't just slide and twist all around. It stays locked in those grooves keeping your tactical ring in place. So very nice feature there. Uh, put this off to the side for now. Like I say, I do use that tactical ring some, sometimes I don't, so just kind of personal preference there. And I'll go ahead and show you guys here that this does use an 18650 battery, or you can also use two of the CR123 batteries. The one that comes with it is a 3.6 volt, 3100 milliamp. Then on the inside here, you'll notice it does have a waterproof O-ring. Does a good job of keeping the dust and the debris and the majority of mo moisture uh, out of the internal components of the flashlight itself. They do a really good job of sending you a little storage baggie with uh, looks like three or four extra O-rings in there as well. So that's a nice addition. And one of those extra O-rings that comes in that bag is there's actually an O-ring on the top here that helps keep the tactical ring in place and doesn't allow it to slide up and down near as much. You can also remove your belt clip here. I choose to keep that on at all times, whether or not if I'm using the tactical ring or not. And then going on down through the external part, the outside of the flashlight itself, probably one of my favorite parts of the flashlight is how you charge this thing. You just keep the battery inside. A lot of flashlights, the 18650s or any flashlight that's rechargeable, you gotta pop the battery out, put it in an external charging device for the battery itself. But on this, it comes with a charging cord that you would just put into a cell phone charger box or whatever that plugs into the wall, USB style right there. But on the other end, really nice, you'll notice this magnetic circle right here. This is magnetic as well, and this is your charger. That just pops right on there, and that bad boy's charging. Super easy, super simple to hook up and charge. Just here, grab a hold of it right there, and just charges that way. Pretty cool feature there, I thought. And on the back here, you've got your tail cap switch. That's how you turn on the light. And then you'll notice here, this green light is lit up whenever the light is on. And that's how you change the different modes, the functions. And 
We got low, I believe medium, high, and then turbo. And then a double click, get you into strobe. And another one gets you into SOS. Pretty cool features there. Like I say, I'll show you guys the intensity of this light output uh, once it gets dark here. So right here on the turbo, you get 1600 lumens of output. On high, you get 360 lumens. On the medium setting, you get 60 lumens. And then on the lowest setting, you get 10 lumens of output. You get a wide variety of run times depending on what output you're using, but if it's on low, the lowest setting is over 5,800 minutes of output. And then if it's on turbo, I believe you can use it on turbo for a minute straight before it dims itself back down due to overheating, to prevent overheating, I guess you would say. And then I think you can do a full run time uh, with those one minute intervals of up to 109 minutes is what the, the booklet says. The max beam distance on the turbo setting is up to 267 yards. They also send along this nice uh, holster for the light itself. And you'll notice on this, once you latch the Velcro portion over the top of the light, it holds it in there real secure. But you can also access your switch and then on the bottom, you can still fully utilize the flashlight. So say this is belt clipped onto my belt. Uh, I can just reach down, push the top of the light still, and turn that off and on. All while keeping that in the holster, the sheath, whatever you want to call it. And then on the side here, you got a nice little elastic area to keep an extra 18650 battery with you. They also sent in the box this nice lanyard that comes with the light. Uh, you can attach this up here or however you want to. Have a lanyard here, wrap this part around your wrist, secure it to anything you need to. Nice little braided portion right here for extra security, extra strength. Just a nice little added feature that you don't get from a lot of other lights. One other nice feature on this light is whenever you turn the tail cap switch on, this light that controls the mode, the output, will light up green. Green means it is 70 to 100% charged. Orange means it's 70 to 30% charged. If it's red, that light means that it's only 30 to 10% charged. And if it's flashing red, that indicates that it has less than 10% charge and you need to get it on the charger. Very handy little output light right there. You can see mine is green. So that means it's 70 to 100% charged. And another thing, whenever you turn this light off, you can have a setting on this to where your light right here, after 10 seconds of switching to off, will light up green. That allows you to locate this light in extremely dark situations. And you can also control that to turn it off. You can see here, mine's not lighting up green. So I have mine turned off currently but I'll show you how to adjust that setting, which is a pretty nice little feature. What you do is you just turn the light on. This light's gonna come on green, and then you just hold this button down for 10 seconds. We should see it flash. There, it flashed. Now, whenever I turn this off, this light, after five seconds, or 10 seconds, I believe, We'll turn on green. There you go. The light is off. Now that light will stay on green so you can easily locate this. All right, got the camera out here on the front porch. I'm gonna show you guys a few items that we're gonna shine tonight with the flashlight. This little uh, cow barn, cattle barn right here is right at 99 to 100 yards away. We'll be shining at that. Just want to give you guys an idea of what it looks like here off the front porch. And we've got some trees over here. Uh, this, this tree right here is right at 100 yards as well. So we'll just kind of be shining around there. Out on the back porch using the Vortex rangefinder. Got this first row of brush right here. 
that's about 40 yards away and then this back row on the crest of this cornfield is 160 yards those trees back there and we'll go over here and take a look at a few other things that will shine tonight I've got a bow I've got a bow target out here it is about 70 yards away and this farthest tree line is about 210 yards away right between these trees all right guys we're here on the back porch there's quite a bit of humidity tonight so that's going to obstruct the beam on this just a little bit so what we'll do is we're just going to turn the pt28 oath keeper on here and this is on low kind of see it right down there in the grass and then i'm just going to go through the cycles here we're going to go to medium and see it picks up this first little brush line right here and then we'll go to high starting to pick up quite a bit of the yard quite a bit of this soon to be corn field right here then you might be able to pick up that wood line back there and now we'll go ahead and kick it up to turbo you can just see how well that picks up the entire yard, the brush line, the cornfield, and then you can see back there, like I said, the humidity is going to affect the beam performance a little bit and all these bugs out here tonight. But this thing just lighten up the whole yard, this whole cornfield. And then we'll move this over here. take a look right here is this bow hunting target let me move this camera here there you go you can see how well this lights up that bow hunting target. Zoom it back out. You can still see it really well. Just all kinds of bugs out here tonight. You can see how well this light just illuminates everything around. Performs really well. Kind of move over here. This is a really good job. I'm going to turn this back on and I'm now down to this second stage of battery life in the yellow range. Just kind of cycle through here. Thing just does a really good job. All right, now we're out on the front porch. And we're going to take a look at the cow barn along with the cattle out here. Turn this on. First one is on the lowest setting. I'll just continue to turn it up here through the different modes. You can see how well. We go from pretty much all dark to lighten up that barn really easily. Got some cows over here feeding on the hay. Probably won't focus because it's so humid out here and all the bugs flying around. Right around 100 yards as well. You can 
just see how well that picks that tree up. Now I've just got the light setting on the handrail of the front porch. It's only on high and I'm just going to walk out in the front yard. Pretty much pitch black out here right now. But after using this light for right out a month now, I've been extremely happy with this. Just a really good size. It's not too small in the hand, and then it's not too big and bulky where you can't shove this in a front pocket or in a back pocket, or use your holster for it, your sheath, and uh, put that on a belt clip or whatever you need to. Really good backpacking light, really good everyday carry light. Just a really well-built, sturdy, very versatile light with all the different modes and functions that it has. I'm gonna make sure and throw some links down below to Brynight's website so you can take a look at it there along with their other lights that they have to offer. Uh, once again, I wanna thank the company Brynight for sending this out to me along with the other light. And once again, I wanna thank the company Brynight for reaching out, sending this out to me for a review. Uh, usually try to do a pretty good job of checking stuff out, making sure it's something that I wanna review here on the channel. And after doing some research, Taking a look at the light and some other user reviews, I knew this is probably gonna be a pretty good product, but once I got it in my hands, gave it a good run through, used it for about a month. It's very solid, very good flashlight. I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's kind of looking for a new, uh, functional, very versatile style flashlight. If you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. Stay tuned for future videos. Appreciate you guys being along for the ride. Happy hunting, be safe. See you guys. Bye.